Hi there, today I'm gonna to show you how to install a high security Euro cylinder on a UPVC door. I've purchased this particular Yale lock. This is the Yale Platinum Euro cylinder. Three star kite mark on this, so it's a high security lock. Let me tell you what it protects against. So anti-snap, anti-pick, anti-bump, anti-screw, and anti-drill. By standard, it comes with three keys, and I, ordered it with two additional keys. Total it came in at around 50 pounds for me. I'm gonna show you how to replace a standard one with one of these. First of all, let's open the door. And what we wanna do, we wanna make sure we get the right size Euro cylinder for this. For this, what we're gonna to have to do is take off the cylinder that's just there. Now, as you can see, my current one, it sticks out. That's the outside area and that's the inside area. So you're gonna have to be aware of that uh, measuring up. So with the standard Euro cylinder in there, it's quite straightforward to take this out. So the first thing is we get the key, the existing key, put it in, and then we get a screwdriver. There will be a screw sort of in line with the lock. And that's that one, if you can see. Get our Phillips screwdriver and take that screw out. So that's what actually holds the, the lock in place. Okay, that's that out. Next thing, what we do, take key and we turn it slightly. And as we're turning it, there you go, it's come out. From that, you can see where the hole for the screw is. If that's the external and that's the internal, it's how you measure up. I'll go in at that point and you can see the current one looks like it's five and a half centimeters inwards. And then we've got four and a half external. So this actually sticks out a little bit. I've bought one which is slightly shorter at that end. A bit different putting it back in on a high security lock. Let me show you what the difference is. It's not actually smooth going in. So as you can see there, there's a little stop point there and it actually says ext, meaning external. If I try putting this in now, what will happen, things are gonna get in the way. As you see, let me reposition slightly. What we're gonna to have to do for this is actually take the handle off. There's two screws on the inside. Let me loosen them. And the other one as well. Just be aware the handle could just pop off. I'll just hold on to it like so. That screws off. Okay. Okay, the second one's off now. So what I'll do, I'll carefully hold on to it. Pull off one end. And then what I'll do, go around the other side and remove that handle. So it should just pop off like that. So you've now got a door with no handle. So now we can actually put in the high security Euro cylinder. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just straighten it up a little bit. So this is the sort of tag that moves the locking mechanism. So I'll straighten that up and then we'll take it and we'll just gently slot it in. And that sounds like it's in place. So what I'll do next, if I adjust it slightly, you can see it's sticking at the other end as well now. We'll put the screw in that'll hold the lock in place. There you go. Next, let's put one end of the handle on. So if I take that and pull the key out. Okay. That one's on now. Now let me get the other end and put that in place. Okay, so let's put on the outside handle initially. That goes in just like so. Just make sure it sits properly 
over the actual lock. It's not in the way. You can see it's level. So let me move the door slightly. Just hold on to it and reposition the camera. And get the other side of the handle and place that straight over it. Okay, I'll just tighten it by hand initially. You can see the marks here, just a little bit of the grease that have come off the actual handle and things, but I can wipe that off quite easily. And we'll just tighten these two. Okay, so I've completed tightening the actual handle back on. Um, just to show the keys in there and it's flush around here and if I turn this door this way this side's flush as well so that's good and just to show the lock in action so literally pull that and there you go if I turn it back again Simple as that. If I go like that. There you go. Hope it's helped anyone thinking of changing the locks on their door and fitting high security locks. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.